Well, hello there, and thanks for coming by and having tea with Linda and Spencer. Guess what? I'm Linda, he's Spencer, and we'll be right back. Everything we do here at Tea with Linda is brought to you by Whimsy Kettle, unique teapots for unique people. All right, Spencer, mm. pull right. out our Nordvisk teas for today and let's see what yummy Christmassy type teas we have. All right, so yeah, I kind of broke it. All right. Do you want red or yellow? Let's go yellow. All right, so I will be enjoying this tea. <laughs> uh, it says, hi, I'm the Emperor's Bride. What is quince? Mm. All right. Um, so, yum. Uh, can't wait for that. All right, so I have thrown this. Do it closer to the speaker or your mic. Yeah. Into Google Translate, and that's how you say it. And it roughly translates into English as tiger nap. <laughs> okay. All right, our two minute timer has elapsed. It's a good thing these are short brew times. All right, we've got some plumpage. For this wonderful black tea, guess what, boys and girls? It's the yum yum color. Yum yum, yum yum yum. Uh, it is clear, there is no particulate. These are the single walled cups, so they are quite hot. Um, stupid me, should have used the double walled, but is, I didn't. Isn't this the chip here? There's a chip in my cup? No. Oh, this is, it has a, a interesting floral note to it. Mm. Which is strange, all I'm getting is the honey smell. Ooh, breathing it in, it's, it's actually quite florally refreshing. I'm getting is the honey. Yeah, I'm not getting much besides the honey at this point. Ooh, and elderberry. That's interesting, I've, um, I'm assuming that Quince is this flower that's on the box here. No. I don't. I don't know. I don't have a flower. Well, I don't know. I'm maybe it's just floral decoration. I I don't it's know. It's like a cherry blossom. It's um. The elderberry is what I'm taste is what's left in my mouth, uh, but the first taste is one that I'm not real familiar with. So I'm assuming that's the quince, um, but it's. You can taste the black tea in this, and you can taste the floral notes in it. And while right now I'm enjoying it, it might be a little overwhelming if I had more than a cup of this. Um, I think I would like this one better iced, just because I think with that refreshing floral that it has, I think iced would be a little bit more refreshing to be redundant. Spencer? Yeah, I'm getting nothing but hints of honey flavor with elderberry aftertaste, and that's it. So, no no tea flavor? Not really. I don't even know what quince is. Yeah, I don't either. I mean, we have the web. We're flying by the seat of our pants yet again here at the Whimsy Kettle Studios. Spencer is going to look it up for us. No, oh, so it is the flower that's on here, yeah. only this is more pink yeah. as opposed to that one. All right. Well, um... I like it. Would I run right out and buy it? Probably not. Um, and the way that you're talking, Spencer, is that it's this tea with honey. Let's take a... let's see. Oh, well, that's interesting. I'm just getting a lot of the stronger black tea smell. Hmm. I actually prefer this one. A little more florally, which is what I'm realizing I like in teas for some reason. Um, yeah, this is this is very I don't know. I'm I'm just not digging it. It's it's not bad. It's just not what I like. Yeah, that's fine, but alright. Okay. Uh, any final words, Spence? 
Shibuya. All right, and with that, we'll say thank you so much for coming by and having a couple with Spencer and I. We really do appreciate it. Um, come on back, and we'll see you Wednesday for the Singapore series. Bye!